Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. All right, so listen, what I was able to do was find, and it took me a while, I didn't want to release this video yet because I, what I've been trying to do is test it out to see if it actually works and see if it's good as I thought it would be. If this is your first time to this channel and you're looking for digital hacks, definitely in the lifetime deal space, you might want to subscribe because I'm always coming up with these different hacks to try to help you grow your business and try to teach you some different uh, back end ways to try to grow your audience and re and grow your bottom line in your business. All right. So listen, there's this tool again. It's on AppSumo. And if you're not familiar with AppSumo, if it's your first time to this channel, AppSumo is a platform that allows you to buy lifetime access to companies who are still kind of in a startup phase. Uh, or in the gr uh, the growth phase of their business to where they haven't really matured and start offering monthly re uh, monthly recurring deals. So this is your opportunity to get in on a lifetime deal. Um, and so what they do is they sell these licenses for a one time cost. Uh, cost you doesn't cost you anything, and you get a sixty day money back guarantee. I just wanted to put that out there first because a lot of people are landing here. They're like, wait, what is that? So again, it's called AppSumo, very reputable company, been around for. Um, probably around seven or eight, nine, ten years. I think longer than that. Um, so anyway, um, there's this tool called OctoLens, right? There's two tools I'm going to show you today. So please, please stick around because this is a hack pack that I'm putting together. I haven't put together a hack pack in a while, but what I want to call this one is this is the Leeds Crockpot. I call it the Leeds Crockpot hack pack, right? Because you can per basically put leads on uh, autopilot, but you've got to put them in a slow cooker, right? So you got to put them in a slow cooker. If you're not familiar with a slow cooker, look that up again, because I know I got a lot of new people to my channel. But listen, so what this particular tool does is it goes out, you set up a profile and it says, all right, let us know what you're looking for. Let us know what keywords you're looking for. It goes out to these different platforms. And what it does is it creates your own feed of the different types of passwords and keywords, not different passwords. It puts together a feed of keywords and looks for them in social media platforms, look for questions people are asking. So let's say a person says, hey, how do, you know, how do I, you know, how do I change a muffler? I don't know, it could be something really weird. I'm just giving that ex um, example. So this tool, if you set it up and you're a mechanic, and it says, hey, go out there and look for people who want to learn how to change a muffler. And let's say you have a YouTube channel where you're showing people how to change mufflers, you're showing people how to change their tires on their on their Winnebago's or something like that, and you're just trying to grow that particular audience. You could find from the feed and you just go in there and say, hey, here's a, here's a channel, right? Here's a channel, here's a video directly to that from your YouTube channel. So that's just one way of doing that. This is... This is um, this is set up. They say it's for B two B, but I think this can be. It says Octolinus is an AI social monitoring tool that helps you identify B two B leads who are ready to buy, right? I think it's B two B and B two C, right? B two C business to consumer, B two B business to business. I seen because I'm using this for business to consumer, but I'm kind of in the B two B space and the B two C space in one of my brands. So what it does is it goes out and it looks, it tracks, it looks for pain points in key industries. It monitors Twitter, LinkedIn, Reddit, where people are asking these different questions. I found this tool to be very fascinating, right? It has 14, um, five taco rating, which is th these days is very rare. Normally they'll have about four and a half or someone says, hey, you don't have this language, so I'm gonna give you a lower taco rating. They just do different things that are out there. So let's look at the tool here. We'll come back to, I'll just tell you right now what I think is a good recommendation. I think a tier two is a good recommendation. I don't think there's a need to do a CSV export. And if you use this a lot, or you may want to use this for other clients, which I think would be kind of difficult, um, you could go with a tier three. I just think a tier two the, the challenge is you only get one brand, right? You only get one brand, right? So what you could do if you wanted to do multiple brands, what I would do is I would buy multiple tier ones 
right? If I would buy one for my, you know, I have a real estate, digital real estate uh, brand, then I have another brand that does uh, retirement planning, right? So I can just buy two separate tier ones. I don't know that I would buy. Well, the reason why I would buy a tier two, let me give, let me correct you on that because you can't get LinkedIn or you can't get um, Twitter without at least a tier two. That's the caveat. That's why I said a tier two is a minimum you need because you, you get comments from Reddit. You would get your Reddit and you would get uh, a couple of the other ones, about four or five different ones, but you will not get um, LinkedIn and Twitter, which to me is the most requested, which I think is is really, really a good. So tier two, you're gonna at least look for a licensed tier two. This will probably be the best $159 that you've spent because you don't need anybody else to go out for you. You don't need to, uh, to set up a scrubber to do it for you. You could, but that would be a lot more setup. What this does is it takes your keywords, kind of takes the brand that you have, and it goes out and does the searching for you. So let's take a look at that. So this is one of the tools. I am gonna show you another tool that I'm using this with, and I've been using the two together. And I like what I'm seeing here. So when you come in here, here's my feed and it's going out and it's going out almost every single day. This was just two hours ago. This was three hours ago. As you can see here, this was four hours ago. So it's going out. It's constantly looking for different things. This is a youth academy that I run. It's for life skills for kids. This particular post was teacher sons that cooking and cleaning are basic life skills, not gender roles, which is very, is very good. I think that's as good. But what, what I could do from my Twitter account is go and like the comment and or like it up and then share it on my Twitter account. This person will see who I am and then they'll like my channel because I'm into life skills and teaching these different workshops about life skills. So they would like that. They would they would you would get a retweet or re X or whatever and so on and so forth. X is hard to say. it's so much easier to say retweet, right? And you say re X, you're like, what? So I think that just sounds so weird. So when you see things like that, or I can go here, like this comment, start following them. We need San Francisco Unified School District teachers to give teens feedback, clear and concise, not kind of, so I can go here and like this particular um, post right here. And that's how you do it. You find the post, you know, it takes you to the post, you go and find the post and then you just like the post and you start getting more <clears throat> authority in your particular area. Definitely if you're trying to do something else, but if I see that, right, if I see, well, um, teach your sons how to cook and clean, right? I could then take that and drop it into a new tool, right? I'm going to show you the new tool as well, but let me drop it in here. So I can drop it in in this tool and I can say, hey, what I wanna create today, I want to create a, a session on teen cooking, right? So I can go, I wanna create a session on teen, or I want to, uh, I want to share, let me put share a new, course on teen cooking so i can go there as soon as i learn that information this is a secret hack you gotta love this hack so i can go in here do this and say hey that's what i want to do so this gives me ideas or i can say you know what i'll just leave it like that so what i'll do is i says i want to share a new course on teen cooking so then it comes, it gives you the post. We're thrilled to announce our latest course designed specifically for teens. Teen Cooking 101, a self published program, teaches essentials. Teen Cooking, financial education, life skills, matches my brand exactly, right? So what you do here is you come here to the dashboard and my brand is uh, Next Gen Home Economics. That's my actual brand. So I come here, connect that up. And I just go here and then I go back to that particular post and I go here and I make my post on my website. This is why this is so nice. So I make the post on my LinkedIn and my X and then I come here 
and I like this post here, that person checks my web, my website or my, my profile and they see what I did and they'll say, oh, this person has a class on teen cooking, right? So then the next thing they know, right, is they go to one of my, one of my workshops that I do here. This is, this is golden. So I have these different workshops and I have, I put the workshop here. Hey, teen cooking 101, put the course together, use AI to kind of help me put a quick course together. And that's how you really, this is, this is the way they announced this tool is, and what I like about it, this, I'm telling you, this is sneaky, right? And I wanted to say, this is my, this is my, uh, you put them on slow cookers. And what I mean by that is you're putting people on notice and who you are. And it says here, if only there's a way to automate the process and find everyone, every opportunity to promote your business to high intent users. Is this not, is this not high intent? The person just says, and then the person right here says, hey, what, what is the best advice you give an 18 year old girl or something like that? This is from Reddit. So you see a lot of the Reddit, you see a lot of those different types of things, life skills. You can just go in here and respond to those comments using your profile and people say, who is this person? How do they know I was just talking about that? All right, so this is a secret. I'm not gonna say it's a secret hack, but these two tools together, this combo pack, right, which I'm using here, this is OctoLens. You gotta love this. This is, again, the hack is really trying to get it to read your one brand. Now, can you go in, delete your brand, and then put in all of your other keywords and all that for a new brand? You could do that. The best way I would buy this, I would, here's what I would buy if I were you. I would buy a tier one. I would buy uh, a tier two. No, I would buy a tier, I would buy two tier twos or three tier twos, right? One or the other. I would not buy a tier three. Uh, there's no, there's no need for a CSV export. And you're going to get everything. You can have email. You can have hourly email or if you want to use Slack, that's another um, reason to buy. But I would buy three tier twos to do at least three brands. So each tier is going to do a brand. Now, when we come over here and look at this one, that tool is called Mavic. Mavic can also, once you make those um, suggestions, you can also go in Mavic and actually create copy for it. It's almost like a poor man's Canva, right? You can do that in there as well. Then you could post from there as well. I'm telling you this, shh, don't tell anybody about this hack. I'm giving this one to, to you guys. I was only gonna make this a members only hack, but since I didn't do my, my Monday madness, I didn't really find madness in yesterday's tools. So I did not put out a Monday madness, but stay tuned, they'll be coming. So what I would do with this particular tool, what I would do depends on how many brands you have, right? Um, you can you can't start bringing your own key until you at least get to a, a plan three. So a plan three gives you three separate brands. So let me show you how the brands work out, so you can see. So it's each brand, and you want to create copy for each particular brand that you have. So as you can see here, I have three brands here. I can switch. This is giving me all my SaaS use case TV stuff. This is giving me all my digital marketing tool shed. So each brand is reading the dynamics and or creating a copy and you have your logo and all that. It creates it for each brand. So if you gotta stay disciplined in your brands here, the most you can get here is five brands. Um, not concerned with all the social channels and integrations. It's really about brand separation and how you wanna use this. I don't think this would be, this is again, another tool that you can archive each brand and then bring on a new brand. So if I had five brands, but I had, if I had six brands and I wanted to bring one brand in, I would archive one of the brands and then create a new brand from that. So that's just another way you can use that. I just don't like doing things like that. I like to have my brand and have all my copy for each brand. There are certain tools that you can use here that you can white, that you could, kind of use as an agency, but then there's some that just make it very difficult for you to use as an agency. I think this is one of the ones that make it kind of tough for an agency, but can you do a one-off or two-off project for a client? I think you can with these, with both of these tools. 
Hey, this has been Jenny Jones. Hopefully this was helpful. Mavic, again, people don't know about this tool. It's a secret tool I brought to you. No one's looking at it. No one's talking about it. I'm mixing that tool with uh, my Octo Lens. I am giving you the leads. I'm giving you the leads crock pot slow cooker. This you do this. You can thank me later. And I want you to come back to this video if you can, or if you're not in one of my communities and let me know how this particular link works out for you. You can even comment below if you think it's a sneaky hack that could work for you. One of the other things I'll tell you since you stayed on this long, one of the other things that I normally do, right? Um, and how I'm able to kind of grow and use my different brands is I'll come here, I'll buy a tier two, right? And I already know before it leaves again, I want to get at least another tier two. So I won't buy all the tier twos at once. And again, you can use my link in the description below. I probably won't get paid off your second tier two because you can come back later and buy it. And that's okay. I won't get the four or five bucks that I'll get from recommending this to you the second time. But I really want to at least be able to give you the strategy and you continue to, to come to my videos and and comment on them, that's a reward more than anything else. So even if you can't use my code the second time, or even if you're not ready to buy, at least comment or say something, hey, this is a nice hack, Jenny. I don't have the money right now, but I can, I'm can. i gonna come back and get it later. You may not be, get a chance to use my link later, but yeah, that's what I would do. And I wouldn't tie a lot of my stuff up in tiers. I would buy, I would get two, I would launch each one with a separate email address and I would have two tier twos. That's what I would do. And to keep them separate from each other uh, and I can still grow and I can probably grow a lot faster if I did that. So you're going to get six keywords here as well. This is more than enough if you're trying to concentrate on one particular brand. Hey, this has been Jenny Jones. Thank you for hanging out. This is a hack pack. I haven't did one in a while. I try to do them around the holidays, but man, this is your, this is your hack pack here. Um, this is the lead slow cooker crock pot hack pack. You guys have been great. Thank you. Goodbye for now.